Can you hike? No. Why not? Too many wines last night. Makes for good hiking. Struggling. Yes. Anyway, gotta do it, eh? So our Kalbarri adventure has begun and the flies are back, pretty terrible. Uh, Hawks Head Lookout, pretty nice. Um, we're going to struggle with this a bit I reckon because we have done so many gorge walks on this trip. Uh, but I'm not going to write it off you yet because we normally do this, you walk into these places not expecting too much and generally they surprise us. So first one off the list is just a lookout, no walks, luckily for Megan. Hey, Dale. Because <laughs> Megan is a little bit under the weather. Just a little. of not booking. <laughs> <laughs> well, turn around and yeah, we'll find some plan B. Mm -hmm. Looking for a campsite. Well, we ended up at Murchison Station after all. Um, it did say that there was no vacancies at the gate, but we rang up anyway, and they had one vacancy available. Um, once we come in, we asked them that they had sort of a vacancy around the station, but they also had bush camping available. And the bush camping is pretty much endless, so it was a bit odd that they didn't mention that to start with. Um, so we've ended up out bush camping. It was a little bit expensive, uh, just for the two nights. The longer you stay, the cheaper it is. It ends up $25 a night, but it's a $50 one-off fee to come out here to start with. So we may actually end up doing three nights here because then we can use this as a base to explore the whole area and do all of Cowberry National Park. Go and have a look at Cowberry itself. And there's quite a lot to explore on the property. Plus there, we are camped pretty much right on the river or 200 meters back from the river. That's what they ask you to do. Uh, and you are allowed to fish in it and it is tidal. So you never know. I probably won't catch any fish, but <laughs> we'll keep trying. And um, yeah, shame we can't have a fire, it's a bit windy, but beautiful spot. And um, yeah, this is, this is us. This is what we prefer to do anyway.
So we've come out to start exploring Kalbarri National Park this morning. Uh, we've come to Z Bend. It's actually really quiet as you can see in the car park. There's only like a handful of cars here, so we've obviously picked a pretty good time of the year to uh, come and see Kalgarri, which is really good because a lot of the other places we have been to along this trip have been quite busy. Uh, we had a little bit of rain last night too, which is a little bit scary. It's our first bit of rain on the trip. And it's actually quite cool as well, so we're really starting to see the change in temperature. But it's perfect for a little hike. Uh, really looking forward to this one. So today is all about Kalbarri. Tomorrow we might actually explore where we're staying, which is the... The Murchison House Station. That's it. Uh, we're doing the bush camping side of it. Uh, we have probably shown you guys a little bit on the way in, but we're really going to explore tomorrow a bit more of that. But yeah, let's go kids. First hike at Kalbarri. Mm -hmm. Let's go. Oh my god. It says heat kills. Hikers have died on this trail. We're going to die on this trail. <laughs> you idiot! I was wondering where you were because you went together with them. I'm like, oh, he must have just gone ahead. Stop it! Stop doing it! It's really annoying. That was intense. Oh. I'm actually just thought about it, and I'm like, I hope she doesn't fall down the cliff. <laughs> yeah, I would oh. maybe do that one day. So don't. What's the price we have to pay for? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, that was really funny. <laughs> gotcha. Same outfit today, huh? <laughs> yes. By accident. We have matchy matchy outfits today. Aren't we cute? Very funny, Willow. Like. <laughs> actually, we actually um, we match our car as well. Which is <laughs> yep. Sandy taught life. Shorts too. Shorts and all. Skywalk, which is the big massive counter-levered platform that's over the Murchison River. Um, it's about 100 metres from the river's bed, so we're going to go out and have a look. Is it ready? Going out over the edge. Fine. <laughs> Amazing, isn't it? Hey, walk on this side. Look, walk on this side. <laughs> what do you mean? Well, you can see straight through it. 
Are you reckon hops? You're not scared? So we headed out this morning to explore the Murchison property. They do give you pretty much free reign and a map of a heap of tracks that are available to you know, go on adventure and they go all the way out onto the coast. So there's a section of dunes there I could see on the satellite. Uh, so we're gonna have a look. It's um, a magic day. The wind's died down for the time being. We'll see what it's like when we get out onto the coast, but as soon as we can get everybody into the car, we'll be off. Yep. 
That is amazing. That's nice. This is so cool. Like, I'm actually forgetting that we are on a station stay. A lot of the stations in WA are, though, on the coast, so you kind of get the best of both worlds. You get the real farm country vibe, and then you get this awesome coastline and these dunes at some of them. Obviously, not all of them, but these dunes are incredible. Murchison House Station, make sure you come here. It's so, so cool. What have we done? Again. Bugged. Something we haven't done for a little while. And we're bogged a bit closer to the water this time. That's <laughs> always good. Yeah, uh, I still got 25 pace on tires, so we'll be right. Let's get it sorted. I think secretly you like getting bogged. <laughs> <laughs> Actually still amazes me how much tire pressure can make to getting yourself out of some sticky situations my next situation is that I've got to walk back to the car after we just saw a massive massive brown snake on the road so the joys easy lunch Today, saladas and cruskets, cream cheese on some, because we all have to be different. Cream cheese on cruskets for Willow. Harper just has cheese on a salada, and Adam and I are having saladas with cheese and tomato. So, easy, quite delicious lunch idea. Yeah, not that exciting, but no, it's an easy one on the road. It's all about easy. Um, we did a lot of ham and salad wraps there for a while and you sort of get over cutting everything up for day trips and packing it all. So just really easy and simple. And the kids love it. Is it your favorite? Mm. Really? Really? Okay. Mm. What about you, Harvey? No, not my favorite, <laughs> but I still like it. Very good. More throttle, 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 more throttle,
Clutch out. Hey, Good Paul. job. You just actually took off properly. Again, bush style. Ah. Megan's bush salon. <laughs> I got a lot of hairdresser friends that would probably cringe at the way I'm doing this. I don't know, I've got no idea. Just shave him down, that's what I'm doing. Filling me with confidence. Huh? <laughs> I may nick you and there may or may not be some blood involved, but he got rid of the mo. What do we all reckon? I'm sad. Ah. Well, I was a real man for a little while. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. No, not uh, sold on it. I don't know. Who likes a guy with a mo? Not mm. me. <laughs> I kind of thought I did, but then I wanted the old Adam back. Not my family. Oh, it might have been the mo so much as the guy with the mo. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> you know it's a bush salon when you've got more flies than hair going in your mouth. Shave his whole head off, Dad. Oh. Flies are bad. What have you done to my head? <laughs> I don't know about Megan's hair cutting <laughs> skills. Can I see? <laughs> oh jeez. <laughs> oh oh yeah, that is bad. <laughs> Wait, can I see that? <laughs> can I see that? That is so bad. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's our last afternoon at Murchison House Station. Thoroughly enjoyed this place. We really only stayed here initially to explore Cowberry National Park. However, Murchison House Station itself has been nearly a highlight. Driving around today, seeing those, those sand dunes, I yeah, I just didn't expect it. The kids had a ball running up and down them. We stopped for lunch at the river, caught a, a legal fish, which is, if you've been following along, really rare for me. So it was just a little highlight, and um, we've really enjoyed getting back to this basic bush camping and having absolutely no one else anywhere nearby. So 100% recommend this place. It was a little bit exy. Um, the longer you stay here, the cheaper it gets, but you know, you you really don't have too many options It's either this or a caravan park, so I'd much prefer this The other little things that really sets these sort of places off is the kids have a swing. How good is the swing guys? It's amazing. Amazing? Has it been good Harpy? Mm-hmm mm -hmm. But yeah, no, it's, it's the little things sometimes with bush camping that yeah, it makes all the difference and makes it so much more enjoyable The only thing missing is a fire yeah, oh, this a fire would have just made this place. Yeah, total fire there. Just for, right. um, you know, it's been really cold here at night, so a fire to sit around at night would have been awesome. We've actually been sitting in the van a fair bit towards the end of the evening because it just blows up and gets freezing. You're not supposed so. to tell everyone that, all right? We are sitting outside oh. all the time. Know, we never eat inside. You just think <laughs> it's WA and no. we're, what month are we now? We're October, mid-October. I just still thought it might have been warm here, but it's starting to no. cool down, so. Yeah. Um, and it is a bit windy of a night and that, so. Flies. And flies, but. No, generally, generally though, bloody beautiful bush camp right on the river, so. Couldn't be happier. Yeah. And uh, we don't know again where we're headed tomorrow. So, but this is basically the end of our cow barry experience. So don't forget, guys. You only live once. Get out there and enjoy it. Ooh, a little bit, a bit staged. Huh? Ready? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? <laughs> <laughs> what about mine? 
Ooh. I nearly got you. <laughs> Very good. What about mum? <laughs> no, I'm done. I'm done with your antics and your scaring and your high fives. I'm done. I'm hey. done.